Now this is econ 101, if you remember. Demand curve slope downward. When the price of something falls, we do more of it. But once you understand when the price of something falls enough that we have all sorts of extraordinary opportunities that we might not have dreamed of, then you can start to think through the, op the applications for a fundamental change in technology. And that gets us to this. This is a convolutional neural net, or at least a representation of it. This is the technology underlying a prediction machine. This is the technology underlying the current excitement around AI. And so we should think about this as a drop in the cost of prediction. Right? It's a prediction tool. And so how do we understand the implications of a drop in the cost of prediction? Well, first I have to explain what prediction is. Right? Prediction is filling in missing information. It's taking information you have, which you might call data, and filling in information you don't have. That process of filling information turns out to be really useful. Now, the first applications for machine prediction were exactly the same as the first applications for human prediction. Right? It's an old problem. You want to lend somebody money, you need to predict if they're going to pay you back. That's an old-fashioned prediction problem, and the first applications of machine prediction, or many of them, have been around loan defaults. Or insurance risk. You need to know if somebody's going to make a claim in order to price your insurance and figure out whether to offer it to them. That's an old-fashioned prediction problem, and we now use machines instead of humans to do that. But as prediction technology has gotten cheaper, we've started to recognize new prediction problems. Medical diagnosis is a prediction problem. The doctor takes information on your symptoms and fills in the missing information about the cause of those symptoms. That's prediction. Object classification is a prediction problem. Facial recognition is a prediction problem. My eye takes signals in and then fills in the missing information of a label and a context. And autonomous vehicles have been a prediction problem. The the reason we have such rapid advances in autonomous driving over the past few years has been the recognition that it can be reframed as a prediction problem. And it's a particularly interesting prediction problem. The prediction problem is, let's predict what a good human driver would do. And once you recognize that cheap prediction allows you to do things like predict what a good human would do in that situation, you get a sense that there's all sorts of crazy opportunities that we haven't even dreamed of. So underlying all this is that prediction is useful because it's an input into decision making. 